there are thousands of recipes out there for indoor barbecued pulled chicken. And most of them involve dousing a boneless, skinless breast with a jar of barbecue sauce and throwing it in the oven. Now these easy recipes are very serviceable, especially if you're a busy home cook, but you can do a lot better without having to do a lot more work. Isn't that right, Becky? Totally right. So for those nights when you need a quick weeknight meal or the grill's covered in snow. <laughs> yes, which happens here in Boston. Yes, a lot, right? We wanted to make some really good pulled chicken just by braising chicken with those nice smoky flavors of barbecue. Mm. We're gonna start by creating a super flavorful braising liquid and we're gonna braise the chicken in that and then we'll add a real barbecue sauce later. Okay, so you're sort of making the base of a barbecue sauce. Right, just with those bar nice barbecue flavors. So we're gonna start with a cup of chicken broth. And if you give me some high heat there, that would be good. Sure. The next thing we're adding is two tablespoons of molasses. And that's a really common ingredient in barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Some nice bittersweet notes. Yeah, you can smell it. Oh. And this was a mild molasses, not a black strap. No, you don't want to use black strap, it's too strong. And then a tablespoon of sugar. We just want to stir. We have it on high heat because we want to dissolve that sugar. Now I'm adding two teaspoons of liquid smoke. And that's going to give us that nice smoky mm. flavor that you get when you're cooking outdoors. That's the indoor grill part. That's it. And then I have a teaspoon of unflavored gelatin, and that's going to mimic the collagen that's produced when you cook chicken on the bone. The mm -hmm. skin, the bones, and the tendons release all that collagen. It turns to gelatin. It gives you that nice, luxurious mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing with the gelatin. And then a teaspoon of salt, and that'll season the chicken. That's coming up right to a boil, so let's get our chicken going. We have two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. The chicken thighs have more fat than, the, than white mm -hmm. meat does, and they have more collagen, so they're going to give us that nice, luxurious texture. I'm just gonna cut each thigh in half here. And you'll see I'm leaving the fat on the chicken. All that fat is going to melt into the braising liquid. It's gonna make the dish taste really rich. Mm -hmm. So let's put the chicken in the pot. I'm gonna give that a quick stir. Now, if you could turn the heat down to medium low and put the cover on, we're gonna right. let that simmer. We'll stir it occasionally. It's gonna go 25 minutes until the chicken is nice and tender. That's it, just 25 minutes. That's it, I'm gonna wash my hands. All right, so let's take a minute and talk about liquid smoke because although it sounds scary, it's actually an all natural product. It's made by funneling the smoke from smoldering wood chips through a condenser, which turns the smoke into liquid. And it traps the smoke flavor because smoke is a water soluble compound. Now that liquid is then put through a series of filters to remove any tar and resins, so you're left with a very clean smoke flavor. But there is a trick to buying liquid smoke because some manufacturers do add other ingredients. So when you're shopping, turn the bottle around and look at the ingredient list. You wanna find a bottle that only has two ingredients, water and smoke. The chicken is just about done. All right. So we'll work on that barbecue sauce. We're starting with one and a half cups of ketchup and we're putting in a quarter cup of molasses, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, salty, savory, it's gonna add some nice depth. Tablespoon of hot sauce, just for a little bit of kick. And half teaspoon each of salt and pepper. Very easy. 10 times better than the bottled stuff. Right, it doesn't take much. Give that a quick little whisk here. So let's measure out a cup of that to add to our chicken, and then we'll save the rest for later. All right, there we go. Okay, so we'll just leave that be. We got our barbecue sauce. Now let's go over and work on the chicken. Okie doke. Take a peek here. So it's been 25 minutes. Ooh, mm. that smells good. It smells smoky thanks to the liquid smoke. Totally smells smoky. Let's just check the chicken. I wanna make sure it's nice and tender. We can check it by pulling it apart with a fork. You can see how it's just falling right mm -hmm. apart. Let's turn off the fire and we'll get the chicken into a bowl. So you can see all that fat that was on there rendered away and it's mm. now gone into those braising juices. Let's strain this braising liquid. We're not gonna get rid of it, we're gonna use it. It has tons oh, of flavor and I remember all the good stuff we put in there. So I'm gonna take it over here and strain it. So we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. That'll give it time for the fat to rise to the surface so we can scrape it off. Okay. All right, so let's work on our chicken a little bit. So this is pulled chicken. Yeah. That means it needs to have a nice shredded texture. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times in our recipes, we take two forks yep. to pull the meat apart. Mm -hmm. You've done that many times. It works, but it takes forever. It takes a while, it's a little bit tedious. Yeah. But when we were developing this recipe, we found that we could just go at it with tongs here like I'm doing now, and the meat's just... Falling apart into perfect shreds. You said it. I like it. Just nice shredded texture, some little chunks in there, however you like it. So that's starting to look pretty good there. So let's go back to that braising liquid. Okay. It's been about five minutes. Take off some of the fat that's risen to the surface here. So you just want to use a shallow spoon and just skim off the top. 
All right, so we have our fat, we have our braising liquid, and our chicken. Let's mm -hmm. get everything back in the pot. Just warm it through with mm. some of that yummy barbecue sauce. That okay. We made. So I have medium heat. If you put that in, then I'll add the chicken. That's a cup of that sauce that we made, and then we have some left over too that we'll serve with the sandwiches. And here's our shredded chicken. Get that in the pot. And then I'm gonna measure out a half a cup of that braising liquid, because it's so full of flavor. Put that in. And we want three tablespoons of that fat. So in that goes. And if you find that you don't have enough fat, you can add a little bit of uh, melted butter. Mm. That would be good too. That wouldn't hurt. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, I'm going to add one more teaspoon of that liquid smoke. The smokiness dissipates a little bit during cooking, so we'll just kind of freshen it up. We're going to cook this over medium heat for five minutes. The chicken's gonna soak up some of that yummy barbecue sauce. So it's been about five minutes. That looks amazing. Oh, my stomach's growling. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it actually too. is. <laughs> So you can see most of that barbecue sauce has been absorbed by the chicken. It looks mm -hmm. nice and glazy. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, really good. So you could serve this on white bread, mm -hmm. or you can use buns. Oh, I like these potato rolls. Me too. You want to get a good amount of I mean, this is going to be oh. messy. That's just, that's just how it is. Pile that on, and then I have some more barbecue sauce. Oh, yes. I like a tiny bit more. Oh, yeah. Some pickles. Now I think I'm going to do three pickles. Okay. Yeah, three sounds good. Yeah? Load me up. I've seen people do this with a fork and a knife. Oh, no. No, no. It's all about <laughs> getting in there. Mmm, mm. mm, that's good. Finger looking good. Oh, you can taste the smoke, you can taste the barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. The texture of the thigh meat is so much better than breast meat because it's still juicy, it actually has flavor. <clears throat> it's not dried out. No, not at all. It's got a little tang from the hot sauce. Mm -hmm. You can taste the molasses in there. It's quite complex, we only used a handful of ingredients. Mm -hmm. It really has a lot of richness from the fat that we added back in. Becky, this is awesome, thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. So if you wanna make some of Becky's kickin' barbecue chicken, start with boneless chicken thighs and cook them in a mixture of broth, liquid smoke, and gelatin until they're very tender. While the chicken cooks, whisk together a no-cooked barbecue sauce with some ketchup and molasses. Setting the cooked chicken aside to cool, strain and defat the braising liquid. Shred the chicken with tongs, then toss it with some of the barbecue sauce, braising liquid and rendered fat, along with a little more liquid smoke. Reheat before serving, and there you have it. From America's Test Kitchen to your kitchen, the ultimate recipe for indoor pulled chicken. Well done. Thank you. So good, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.